Hey everyone, my name is Andre and welcome back to another video. It has been quite some time since I've made a video, but today we are back with a new one, with a new tutorial, and today we will have a look at how you can send emails from your website through SMTP with WordPress, obviously, and with no plugins. By default, WordPress uses the PHP mail function, and this is uh, not really a good thing, especially if you want to pass the spam filter. <laughs> uh, you will have to use an SMTP server to send the emails, uh, because this way, especially Google, will be more likely to pass the spam test. Uh, your email will be more likely to pass the spam test, especially when landing in a Gmail inbox. So, without any further ado, let's see how we can set up WordPress to send emails through SMTP. You will see that it won't be really that hard. It is a bit technical, but not really hard. So, here I have I have created in the cPanel account a new email account for my website, uh, tutorial around andrebrindas.com. Here I have the secure settings that are recommended to use SSL or TLS. So. The first thing we need to do, we need to jump into the wp-config file. Here it is the file and here uh, we need to define the settings, the settings for the SMTP server. So let, let us right here, let, let us comment this, SM, SMTP authentication. Okay, so the first thing that we need to define is the host, define. SMTP host. Uh, basically, what we are doing here is defining global variables, just like WordPress declare, declares here in like WP debug. What is the host? No problem. Here is the host. Outgoing server. Mail.andrebrindas.com. It's not that hard, right? Okay. The next thing we need to do is to let it know if we should authenticate or not. And obviously we will need to authenticate. So define SMTP auth. And of course we will say that uh, we want to authenticate. So we can either go uh, writing true or we can you can just write one. I'm gonna write true. The next thing we need is the user, the SMTP user. So, so we will write define as SMTP user. And what is the user? We go back here and we will have the username. Base actually it's the email address. So here's the user. Okay. I forgot a comma here. The next thing we need to do after we specify the user is specify the password. So <laughs> SMTP password. And now we will put the password. So you, you will need to use a secure password just like this one. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you should not try to try to log in with uh, the, the, these credentials because I will delete this email address or we change the password. I don't know exactly, but you won't be able to log in. Okay, so after we specified all these options, we will need to specify to tell the SMTP server the address from where the recipients will see that they've got the email. Define. SMTP from and of course you want to be the same as your to be the same as your log as your user next we will need to specify the name define SMTP. <laughs> this will be the name that will appear near the email we all know if we use that we have the, the recipient's name and then the email email contents. So I'm gonna write here Andre. Great. 
Now we have to specify some more technical details. For example, the port that we will want it to use, SMTP port. And how do we know what port should we use? Well, we just go to the setup and we will see that for outgoing Gmail, we will have to use port 465 and we just put it here. Okay. The next thing we need to define uh, the kind of security that we want. So define SMTP port, uh, sorry, SMTP secure. <laughs> You can see here that we can use both SSL and TLS. In our case, we will go with SSL. So we are going to write here SSL, but that's all. And the last option we need to define is the debugging. So we will just write and again, define SMTP debug. And in our case, we, want, we don't want any debugging. Uh, but you can put this on one or two if you have if you have problem sending emails so this is all that we need to do inside the wp config file so let's save the changes and now after we have defined all these global variables we will need to go into a plugin or functions.php file in this in our case we will go in the functions.php file and tell wordpress that we want to use these options to send emails. So let's go to our functions.php file. And now uh, we will we will need to do two things. We will need to define a function that will define the options. So let's go again, SM, SMTP auth. So function, function SMTP email. And as a parameter in this function, we will need to uh, pass PHP mailer. Uh, WordPress already comes with PHP mailer installed. And if you don't know what PHP mailer is, you can check the documentation on GitHub. Uh, basically, it is a way, it's a tool that will allow you to send you more performant and advanced emails better than just the PHP mail function. And this function, we will need to hook it into the action that will tell WordPress what to use. So we need to add an action and the action is called PHP mailer init. And we will just copy the name of this function. Is it here? Okay, now what we need to do is define all the options. And now this parameter that we have passed here is the PHP mailer object. So we will need to specify a few properties for it. The first one is SMTP debug. And SMTP debug, it's equal to SMTP debug from here. Next. Next, we need to specify if we are sending an SMTP email. So that's all. <laughs> the next, we will need to specify the authentication. SMT, SMTP, SMTP auth equal yes. And one by one, we will need to run through all these options and specify them in here. So let's go with all of them. SMTP host for the host. SMTP port. Then we will need to specify the username. SMTP user. Then we will need to specify the password. Then the security.
then the from address and the from name. And basically, this is all that you need to do in order to send SMTP emails. I know now that you might wonder why have we not written all these credentials straight into function.php. We could have done that, but it is a security best practice to not have this, especially credentials in the same file that we used to log in. So that's why we have created a global variable here and we used the global variable in, in the function.php file. This is just a security best practice. And now every email that I will send from my website, either through a contact form to me or an email to someone that fills the contact form will be sent through SMTP and will pass pump filters, uh, won't land into the, into the junk folder or whatever folder can land in. And this is how you should do it. It may seem daunting at first because it is a more technical approach than just installing a plugin, but it's really not that hard. And if you have stayed until this point in the video, I want to thank you and I want to invite you to join my email list because in the near future, I will start an exclusive email course only for the subscribers on my email list. And if you want to know what that will be, and if you want to get it as soon as it's released, in the description, you will have the link to join. And of course, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one and even more topics in the future. Have a great day.